Hey guys, and welcome to the 400 subscriber special. I would like to thank everybody who supports this channel, all of the recently new subscribers who have come from uh, my Zach Eady and MLS jersey videos that have kind of gotten pretty popular recently. Um, I'd just like to thank everybody. The people have been here since the start, the people have been here since this current era, the people have been here, you know, I'm gonna go through all the eras and stuff, but just thank all of you. Um, you know, from the start, my first channel, uh, it isn't actually this one, my first channel was a channel called What Up Gaming, uh, what spelled W-U-T. I told people that that was on purpose. Really, it's just because I was dyslexic and didn't know how to spell. Hey guys, it's What Up Gaming. And I was recording and making all of my videos on this crappy little, like, uh, I think it was a Dell laptop that you could take the the screen off and make it into a tablet and then it had a keyboard that you could attach so it wasn't really a laptop or a computer it was like a tablet with a keyboard with uh, a camera that had like two megapixels I think of quality so if you go back to any of those videos that I recorded with my camera they were really crappy and all the I didn't know how to do screen recording yet so any of the um, 2k or NHL or whatever videos that I did uh, it was literally me just propping my computer up on a tray table and making it face towards my TV and fitting it the best that I could and it was just it was so crappy it was horrible I don't know why I expected anyone to watch any of those videos I don't think I really expected anybody to watch those videos um, it was more just enjoying myself I mean I look back on those videos I I went through a lot of them to um, make this video to go back and get the the footage and stuff and looking back on it is extremely nostalgic for me because if you go from my first channel to now, you you see me grow. You see me grow as a person. You you see me go through puberty. The the way that my voice sounds from uh, the first videos I made where it was high pitched, sounded like a ten year old because I was ten. Hey Luke Glendening, that's my favorite player on the on the Red Wings right now. Um, and then you get to. Um, like three years ago and my voice is kind of in that weird stage where it's in between what it is now and what it was before and it's just kind of scratchy and high-pitched more hey guys it is sports talk back it again with another video today I have autofocus on because I finally figured out how to work it um, and, and then about a year ago you kind of get to what my voice is now where it is um, you know my balls have dropped but going through those videos is just so fun because I, I was just I was just having fun making videos, making videos with my friends. I mean, at one point I had a three subscriber celebration on that What Up Gaming uh, channel, and uh, after that channel, uh, I, I just lost interest in doing gaming videos. So I moved to this channel. This channel originally was named What Up Vlogs. And that was the original name for this channel. I, I got this, I got my first, not this phone, I got my first phone uh, Christmas Eve of 2017. Um, recorded immediately, went up to my room when we were done. Um, my parents got done giving me the phone, went immediately up to my room, recorded saying that this is the, this is the beginning of the channel. Hey guys, it's uh, What Up Vlogs here. Go check out my channel, What Up Gaming. I know this is a pretty cringy first video and I was so pumped and so excited to just have fun and, and record videos and stuff and um, yeah that was that first era was just me trying to vlog me trying to make gaming videos kind of still that kind of stuff uh, gaming reviews stuff like that uh, that was what I did at the start and then you get to kind of the intermediate years where I'm teetering between sports and not sports I was doing commentary for a little bit and you saw a hint of sports video in there and then the more you go to like three or four years ago um, I, I make card unboxings I think those three three years ago you know baseball cards stuff like that um, that's where my voice was kind of in between like it was starting to get to where it is now uh, I use my voice as kind of a, a landmark as to where you are in my life because I don't show my face all the time it's kind of hard to tell and just the the way that my voice sounds uh, kind of I don't know why it makes me think of what time period I was in 
um, cause it just brings back all those memories from that time period. And so you go through and then you eventually do get to my sports stuff. Um, the first one, the first sports, uh, commentary video that I made, uh, that got any inkling of attention was this rant on the Raptors. You guys smell that? That is the smell of Raptors fans in cop incompetence. This is the second time in a very in like a week or so that the Pacers had lost a really close game to the Raptors, and this was still the Victor Oladipo era, and we were still contending, or at least we thought we were contending, and I I was so angry and just so angry and ranted and ranted and ranted. At one point, uh, not in that video, but in one of the videos, I took an airsoft gun and shot a Serge Ibaka card and like drew penises on it and stuff. Two points with uh airsoft gun right here and signed it for some reason uh i was just i was very i i'm still like this kind of but i, I was very passionate fans before you come on here bragging and saying oh you're salty oh go cry guess what i don't care you guys can all go back to your liberty bell and i don't care and i'm um, just young and i didn't know where to focus my my anger towards when it came to a team and I, I was just kind of vile, as most middle schoolers are. And it was just, it was very raw. It was a very raw era. There wasn't much effort put into my videos. I just turned on a camera, recorded, didn't even cut anything out really, and then immediately posted it to YouTube. And most of the time, didn't even have a thumbnail. Sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. It was very crude and raw. It was, it was an interesting era, and I'm surprised people become, became fans of me and watched and for those of you that have stuck around through that i i appreciate you because uh, my my content now it's not the highest quality but it's way higher quality than i used to make and it's it's just amazing um because i made hundreds of those post game commentary recap videos and i thought that was kind of my calling I thought that's what i wanted to do on youtube but i just slowly didn't want to do that anymore and they weren't getting very good views. Not that that's everything, but I wasn't enjoying it anymore. Nobody else was really enjoying it anymore. So I kind of, I started to make, you know, c the commentary ones um, like I posted recently, like the NASCAR one, the MLS one, the Zach Eady one, the stuff that I make now. You can kind of see that coming through. Um, during the pandemic, I made uh, a decent amount of videos I actually made a video, uh, a recap of the last game the Pacers played before COVID. Can someone tell me what crack the refs were smoking exactly? TJ Warren, he's just like, that's a bad call. Technical. And that's kind of funny to look back on. It was against the Celtics and the refs were really bad that game. And then I, I continued to do the post game recap stuff up until about a, uh, 10 months ago, a year ago, which it feels so long ago, but not so long ago at the same time. Um, it was just, it's weird how it feels. And then um, about eight or seven, half, half a year ago, I started making the content that you see now. And um, a few months ago, I started making exclusively the content that you see now, the, the stuff that is actually starting to gain some traction. I'm glad that I'm making the content that I'm making now. I enjoy it while it is kind of difficult to think of an idea weekly and because that's what I do. I upload weekly or sometimes twice a week on a very rare occasion. But it's difficult to think up of a, of a topic every week that'll be high quality and to my standards and something that I'm interested in investing my time with because I spend the whole week making it. I, I, it's, it's truly uh, almost like a job. I, I get home from school or from practice and I work on my TikTok or my YouTube videos or something. And then I watch sports, eat dinner, and then go right back to it. Usually I'm laying in that bed right there and uh, edit up until, you know, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and then put on YouTube and fall asleep. And that's my schedule every day. So it is kind of tiring to do it, but you guys make it all worth it. Um, you guys help me motivate 
myself in order to make those videos and make them up to a standard where it's watchable and it's nice and my watchable content this content that i've been making is starting to gain traction it's it's gotten me this far um obviously i i wish i was more popular i wish i had more subscribers and all that but i'm thankful for what i do have because i know that you guys have discovered what everybody else is going to discover and that's that i make good content and I make entertaining content and all I need is for other people to recognize that and I will get to where I want to get to and I want to bring you guys along with me because you guys are the day ones you guys are um, my fans and I just I love you guys you know you you've supported me throughout my whole YouTube journey some of you um, nothing but appreciation towards you guys see you guys next time